Buyer beware, do not buy the volatile dynamite or fire bottle pamphlets. And I'll go ahead and explain the reasons why. Thanks for joining, guys. Hopefully I can reach you before you have purchased these. I'm going to explain why these two pamphlets specifically are the biggest ripoff in the game. And we'll go ahead and show you plenty of proof in this uh, video here why these pamphlets are basically just like throwing money away. So we're going to go ahead and start by talking about the fire bottle pamphlet that unlocks at level 37 for a price of $500. Again, you do not want to buy that. And then next up on the list is going to be the Volatile Dynamite, which unlocks at level 77 with a purchase price of $785. Now, I think this is absolutely rotten that they end up listing these in the fence because some of you guys may have already noticed that you can craft these without having the damn pamphlet. And like I said, if you don't believe me, just keep watching, pay attention, and I'll go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, so here we are at a campfire, and you can see right there, they are not locked. I will show you proof that I do not have either one of these pamphlets, but the dynamite uh, pamphlet pops up right there, and also the fire bottle pamphlet. Now, you'll see right there, I don't have any dynamite, so I can't craft it at the moment. Later, I am going to throw a couple and uh, show you that I can come in and craft them. Same thing with the fire bottle. I'm full right now, because I have bought them from the fence, so that's why I do not have the option to actually craft those, but you see that they are not locked for me. Normally, they would be locked unless you had the pamphlet. So I don't know if this is some kind of glitch. I'm on Xbox. I don't know if it's specifically just Xbox or if it's, you know, something in the game. But something is up, and I just actually noticed it the other day while I was doing a video for some of the other pamphlets for the uh, shotgun. But you see right there, I do have eight of the Volatile Dynamite. Just to go ahead and prove to you, I don't have any of the regular Dynamite. That's why I'm not getting the option to craft them. Sometimes you will notice when you go in here... You have to hit show all because for some reason the craftables won't pop up. So just go ahead and mess around. You see, I did throw a couple. That's why I do have the option now to craft those. So you will need animal fat. You will also need an express round to go ahead and craft these as well as regular dynamite. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at my pamphlets right now. Before I go ahead and craft it, just to show you that I'm not messing around with you, you do not see a fire bottle pamphlet. You do not see that volatile dynamite pamphlet. So this is no joke. You know, don't go out and spend your money. Between the two of them, you're looking at close to, what, $1,300 or $1,250 for the two pamphlets when you really don't need them. So you see, I just showed you I don't have the pamphlet, and I'm able to craft it with just some animal fat, any kind of express round, whether it's revolver, pistol, rifle, repeater. You can go ahead and select uh, between those different options for the crafting recipe, and then you just need, you know, a regular stick of dynamite. So you'll see right there, I don't have the pamphlet, and I do have the option to craft both of these. So those two pamphlets have to be the biggest waste. I have had some comments on some of the other Buy Beware videos where people are saying that they actually can go ahead and craft the potent snake oil. And some of the other things, I don't know if that specifically plays on PlayStation, but you see right there, there's a couple different crafting recipes for the fire bottle. Again, I am full on those that's why I'm not able to go ahead and craft those so we're gonna get a little help from our friend neon razor who's gonna go ahead and chuck a regular stick of dynamite just to see the effects of it and then I'm gonna go ahead in the next clip and chuck the volatile dynamite and you will see the difference between the two however it is pretty slight I think the uh, you know volatile dynamite just gives you a little bit more of an explosion I don't know if it has more of a blast radius but you would think that it would be more potent and more deadly I haven't necessarily tested that out on any enemies or NPCs. So hopefully this video has reached you in time. Hopefully you have not gone out and spent your money on those two damn pamphlets. I feel bad for you if you have. Go ahead and mess around with this. You can craft them at a campfire. You can also craft them with the mortar and pestle if you have it. If you've bought it at the general store for $20. So I'd be interested to let, you know, see what you guys think. If you guys have... Notice this as well, or if there are some people out there that don't have the option to craft these. I don't know if you have to get up to the specific levels, like say 37 for the fire bottle, and then 77 for the volatile dynamite before you can actually go in and craft them. But please spread the word. Don't let your friends buy these. Tell them about this video. Even if they, you don't tell them to watch the video, just tell them by rumor. Let them know that it's a joke and do not waste your money. Again, I appreciate you guys watching the series here. Hopefully I can bring you a couple more to let you guys know what to expect with these pamphlets. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.